The Master Gardener program relies heavily on Purdue MG Manager. I always get there by doing MG Manager Purdue in my search box and I go here. This system provides a way for Purdue Master Gardener volunteers to report volunteer activity and educational training hours online. You can make a personal profile when you're new and then when you've been in the system you can go in and put your volunteer hours. So let me show you how to get in as a new volunteer after you've graduated. You go down to Purdue MG Manager login. If you are a first time visitor, you want to register right here, volunteer registration. All Purdue Master Gardeners must register in the system as part of the registration process and it provides basic contact information, including an email address, which is required, and the county registration code, which is required. The county registration code for Hancock County is HANC2974. I'm sharing that just with Hancock County volunteers, obviously. So then you register so you can report some current volunteer activity and all your educational training hours. Class hours that you took also count, so put those in. So here's how to register. There is a video of how to register in this information sheet that's sent when we you graduate, so let me know if you d need a copy and I will send it to you. So once you have logged in to be in the system, I have to approve your accounts first, then I will set it up so that you have you need to do agreements. Uh, we need to do agreements every year on March 1st. That is basically very easy. You come in here and you just click some buttons and then we have to then check your background again every year just to make sure we're all safe and then I can approve these. So that's just the process that goes through that. So let me show you how to do hours. We've talked about what counts for hours and that is you want to make sure you're doing volunteer hours that is educational. So if you take pictures of it and share that, that is educational. If you are talking to someone about it while you're doing it, that's educational. It must be a public nature and open to all. A lot of people are doing different things. Even if you write a blog post for your website, let me show you how to work on hours. I'm going to look at hours categories. There's a lot of different hours categories. There's advanced master gardener category. So for instance, if you're taking a new a class that is helping you grow put that for training if you are especially if you watched more of the statewide training leadership development master gardener basic intern that's what we you do when you first take your class that's where those hours go in those educational hours presentations garden tours i put digital horticulture posts like if you're doing facebook engagements that's for hancock county so let me know if you have any questions about that that's volunteer hours, like if you're promoting the Master Gardener program, gardening, symposia, presentations, mentoring, training, new Master Gardener interns, youth programs, answering horticulture questions, Facebook questions answered here. We put this in, you can, you can use that category. Demonstration gardens, fundraising, social media, public relations, Facebook reach. So that's where we're putting the, that. The new citizen scientist projects that we've talked about. If you have any questions about that, let me know. And I think that answers the question. So basically when you go in to, when you go in to put your hours, you can, and then add new hours. And you basically just want to, if it's volunteer hours, use this tab, education, use this tab, and you can just select your category. They have them all right here. The number of contacts you talk to, that'd be great. Then you can also do education hours. Make sure you put in your intern, your class, so that's how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions. Some of you have not done your annual agreements. We've sent you an email. So just make sure you do that so you are able to volunteer. Thanks.